13. For he shall have judgment without mercy that hath shown no mercy, and mercy rejoices against judge, yep. judgment. Yep. He shall have judgment that has shown no mercy. Uh, showing you what, man? Showing, showing no mercy within the within this thing, man. With with you know, over here, over here with that with that evil eye, man. Time, hey, man. A simple thing is if brothers going off, man. And, and instead of you being hard on him, yeah, we're gonna be hard. But there's it's to a certain extent, man. Teach him. Tell him mm -hmm. how he's going off. You know, then see if he's willing to change his ways and continue being in this, in the truth, man. Yep. You know, well, if I'm going off, the brother here is not going to sit there and be, you're going off. Get the hell out of here. Go home. No, yeah. he's going to, hey, you're going off, dude. What are you doing? Hey, this is how you're going off. It's like, oh, okay. Yep. You know, there's a way to go about it. Mm -hmm. You have to have mercy when when you reprove someone as well, man. Because yep. hey, man, you don't have mercy. Most I ain't gonna have mercy upon you. Because as we just read, none of us are perfect. You see, you got a lot of Israelites coming into this thing, man. A lot of Israelites. You see, and the elect are are are, are scattered within there, man. You see, so we gotta we gotta be examining ourselves. You see, and also you know uh, uh, bringing forth reproof, sharpening each other up. God. But yet, also, always remember that mercy, man, because none of us are perfect. You see? All of us have went off, and any little thing that you went off, and you went off in everything, man. So you can't just pick and choose what you want to. You know, you got to remember that mercy, man. And ultimately, this is all for all, all for the, 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 the glory of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. This thing ain't even of us. You see? Um, Did you have something, brother? I was trying to get a... No, baby, just sent throw me off on that. I was trying to get uh, you know, uh, what is it? No sins greater than all sins. Uh, sin is sin, you know. There, there's not one part of the law that you could break that's less than the other part, you know. Mhm. Mm I was trying to look for that. It just, just kept throwing me all over Romans. God. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just jump back to this. Uh... I think I think that's good on that, brother. I mean, as you go on, you know, he begins to, uh, you know, expose more of the balance that you know, you, faith without uh, works is dead. You see, you can't just believe and that's it either, man. You got to have a balance. You see, you you shall know their, uh, uh, you shall know them by their fruits, man. You ain't gonna have no fruits. You ain't you gonna actually be doing things, all right? Um, but this is uh, going back on uh, Sirach 17. I'm just gonna hit this last verse. Lucky. It was, it was, what was I reading out of earlier? It wasn't 17. It was uh, huh. It was 17? I think it was. I think it was. Uh... Oh, yeah. You're right. It's lucky. <laughs> oh, it's because I have my other. You're the, okay, there it is. Yeah, 17. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sirach 17 and 26. It says, Turn again unto me, or unto the Most High, and turn away from iniquity. For he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health. You see that, man? Which in the Hebrew, that would go into uh, illumination. You see? So it'll lead you into illumination. You see, we are the illuminated ones, man. Knowing right from wrong. You see, knowing what it means to be an Israelite. Knowing and understanding what we need for salvation, man. It says, and I hate thou abomination vehemently. You see that, man? And, and, and you're told to hate the abomination. You see? Hate, hate this abomination and, and, and receive this instruction, man. Receive this light, which through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is being done all around the planet Earth today, man. All right? Which, which is ultimately bringing, bringing forth a downfall. All right, of this wicked, wicked kingdom, all right, this place of complete darkness, as we speak, man, because the elect are receiving instruction and perfection slowly but surely through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Do you have anything else, brother? Uh, you know, and uh, you know, hey, some people, you know, they 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 fear the Most High. There's the two thirds they don't even understand it, but they fear the Most High. So hey, a lot of times when they come against this truth is, is a lot of times because of fear that they know they're doing wrong. 
you know and he brought out that we're supposed to be an, 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 an illumination unto the world and I was reading this this morning back in uh, uh, Exodus uh, 34 and 29 it says this when uh, the Most High uh, already um, was uh, with Moses and he gave him the uh, he had took the um, the stones back up to write the laws again for the second time and this is uh, verse 29 just so I can stop talking and it came to pass when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tables of testimony in Moses' hand when he came down from the mount that Moses was not that was not that the skin of his face shone shine while he talked with him and with and with and when Aaron and the children of Israel saw Moses behold the skin of his face sh shine shone and they were afraid to come night him and Moses called to him and Aaron and all the rulers of the congregation returned unto him and Moses talked with them so you know the the most high had put a, a veil on him you know like he was glowing you know he had mm -hmm. that that understanding so it, it, it made everybody afraid You're like oh man this is, he 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 mo, he has that reflection of the most high you know so hey man a lot of people when they come out here man they get scared and, and afraid and they intrigue us with anger man they're over here going against the most high but that's a lot of time is because they have fear of the most high they mm -hmm. know they're going off wrong and they're trying to justify themselves man of yeah. where they're going wrong mm -hmm. and that's contrary to what you're supposed to be doing as part of the elect man you're supposed to have that fear and correct yourself yep being able to receive reproof man is a is a powerful skill that you know our flesh that we've and the way that we've come up in this world is uh you know is, is something that uh you know, it's hard for us to receive his reproof in any way, shape, or form, man. You won't be told that you're doing anything wrong. Even these women don't like to receive any reproof. Right. So how much, how much more, uh, how much more the men? <laughs> yeah, man, that's the thing, man. Like two thirds are gonna sit there and fear the Most High and continue doing what they're doing because they don't, they hate instruction. And the one third, they're gonna continue to fear the Most High and, and be reproved and, and correct themselves and, and love understanding. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, this is uh I got I got one more precept you can grab real quick. This is uh this is the book of Sirach. Let's see here, chapter Chapter twenty one and verse uh Verse 6, it says, He that hateth to be reproved is in the way of sinners, but he that feareth Yahweh will repent from his heart. That's right, man. Just, we're just what we just said, you know, but with the scriptures coming out, man. Easy to understand, man. That, you know, if you, if you hate being reproved, man, you're in the way of sinners, man. If you hate instruction, you're in the way of sinners, man. Mm -hmm. now, let, me, let me hit this real quick, too. This is Sirach 20 and 1. It says, there is a reproof that is not commonly. Again, some man holdeth his tongue, and he is wise. You see, so like like we're saying, you know, there, there's there's a way to go about it too, man. Remember a mercy, you see. And yet, man, the elect they're gonna be able to receive it. But going on verse two, it says, "In uh, it is much better to reprove than to be angry secretly, and he that confesseth his fault shall be preserved from hurt." You see, trying to trying to protect uh, protect that brother, man, by reproving him, man, and all, and it, it, it's better for it for it just to come out. You see, instead of you just letting it build up and build up, and guess what? Then you got some kind of demon done manifested itself. That's right. Um, verse three it says, "How good is it when thou art reproved to show repentance?" You see that, man? Because uh, yeah, naturally, man, being built up in this world, the first thing you do is you get offensive. You see stuff. So, what? Start telling you, but you, but you gotta examine yourself, man. Take a step back, look in the mirror. Why is this brother telling me that? Is it because is it because he thinks that my eyebrows look funny, and he just don't like me? Is it because is it because uh, uh you know I, he thinks I smell funny? No, man. <laughs> it's because you did something that you weren't supposed to do, according to the instruction that we've been given, man. 
a, and, and, and that's how you're going to cast out that, that demon that's on you. Because that's a demon, man. Khan, that, that pride demon. Khan, you said something that you were not supposed to. Or you didn't say something you were supposed to. You did something you were not supposed to. Or you're not doing something you're supposed to, you mm -hmm. know? For thou shalt not escape willful sin. Or it's like, for so shalt thou escape willful sin. God. Hey man, that that's the only way. Hey, that 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 willful sin is just that natural state of sin that we were brought into, man. In this evil society, man, and, and, and this wicked society, you know. So now that you're getting reproved and you're appreciating, you're rejoicing in that reproof, man, and getting more understanding. And, and hey, you're you're gonna that that those that way that of sin that you you easily used to go into, man. It, it, it automatically don't even phase you anymore. Mm hmm Colin, I got this last one. This is a uh, Sirach 22 and uh, verse 6. A tale out of season is music in mourning, but stripes and correction of wisdom are never out of time. That's it, Pa. You know, hey, wisdom, man, that... It's never it's because right now you hear a lot of people. Oh, the Bible. That's all biblical times. They used to live in biblical times. We're still living in biblical times. This is still part of biblical times. The life we're living in right now, man. So, hey, this wisdom is still the current mode. You know, it's, it's still the beat that we're supposed mm -hmm. to be beating on it at, according to Yahweh mm -hmm. That This is his beat right now. Yep. This and is his rhythm. And how's this, that? And how's that wisdom going to be received? By stripes and correction. God. See, we're going to be corrected, man. We're going to receive stripes. You see, and something we got to learn first and foremost is what? Humility. Because we're not moving to our own beat, but like the brother said, to the beat of Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. That godly mind frame of thinking, man. You got anything else, brother? No. No. Well, with that, Lord willing, this is edifying, man. Just, you know, through the spirit, you know, just something that, uh, you know, Spirit just had us bring out, man. So, hey, man, Lord willing, the elect are edified by it. And, uh, you know, you Israelites, man, you, you elect of the nation of Israel, whithersoever you are. Actually, all of you Israelites, adhere to this warning, man. Adhere to this message, you see? And the elect, whithersoever you be, will be able to receive it, man. With that, call Allah Yimla, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakah, Kodash. Double honors. Be unto the elders and the apostles and peace, love, blessings, salutations unto the elect. Shalom. Shalom.